Hello, everybody. So, I am going to read you and respond to a email that I received on xnannyq.com. Normally, I just um, send people back messages. However, I'm noticing that I'm kind of getting not the same question, but a question similar to this. So, here is the question. Hey, Nanny Q, I really love your page. I found you on TikTok and I also follow you on YouTube. I have a dilemma and I really need your opinion on it. I have a two-year-old son. Me and his father live together. We've been in a relationship for the past three years. I cannot stand his father's friends. And the main reason I can't stand his friends is because I cheated on him with two of his friends and now he has named them the Godfather. He has named these two same guys as the Godfather. I don't trust them because if you cheat, if you cheat with me, wait a minute, if you cheat with me and he's your best friend, what would you do to protect my child? I told my boyfriend that I don't think that it's a good idea for him to have those two guys as our son's godfather. And he said he know if anything happens to him, they will hold me and the child down. And when he said it, I kind of laughed a little bit because both of them have literally held me down, LOL. She got it in quotations. Should I tell him the real reason I don't want them to be the father, the godfather, or should I just let it be? I know that he messed around with two of my friends, so as, pay, as payback, I messed around with two of his friends. He just doesn't know that I know what happened. How I found out that he had a threesome with two of my friends is because we were drunk one night, and I saw that he texted one of them. And when I went through the text thread when everybody was asleep, I took screenshots and kept everything for evidence just in case it ever came up that I slept with his friends. Not only did he sleep with my two friends, one of the girls is like a sister to me. Her mom and my mom have been friends since high school, so me and her automatically became best friends when our parents had us. We both have the same middle... We both have the same middle name. That's how close we are as sisters and family. I found out that they've been sleeping together for the last few months, but he doesn't know that I know. So I slept with two of his friends. And to be honest with you, Nanny Q, our son might not be his child. might not be his child. I have so many secrets when it comes to our relationship and the extra people that are involved in it. I just hope nothing happens and we have to do a DNA test to save our son's life because I'd be up shit creek without a battle girl. In your honest opinion, do you think I should tell him what's going on so we can get a blood test done and also bring to the forefront that I know about him and my two best friends. My best friends still come around and act like nothing happened. But the fact that they not only have slept with my boyfriend, they've been sleeping with his friends too. We've all been sleeping with each other. And at this point, I think we should just have a group activity. I agree. I mean, yeah, I mean, you like that kind of thing. Yeah. Am I wrong for thinking like that? Or should we all just be adults about this? Wait a minute. Or should we all just be adults about the situation and have this kind of fun? Let me know your honest opinion. And I can't wait to hear back from you. Well, that's a lot. 
that's a lot. Um, I'm always that person who thinks that it's better to tell the truth than to hide a secret. I remember I was looking at a, B, uh, a movie on BET and the girl had slept with like the dude, her husband's brother or something. And she ended up pregnant and something happened to the child. And at the hospital, they had to do blood work. And that's when it came out that the child was his brother's child and not his. But he was cheating on her too and had did her dirty. It was a lot. It was a lot. So, um, tell. Because if anything happens, you want that to be out in the open and be like, this is the reason why I don't want them to be the godfather. But, um, I need some more coffee. Um, the friends... Yeah, y'all level, um, it's a lot of disrespect going on. Um, I really don't know what to say to tell the truth. Because, I, you know, I'm not that tip, t I, I don't do the tip for tat. You do something, I do something, I don't do the tip for tat. But, um, I mean, if y'all want to just everybody join in and have fun, I mean, at least the secret will be out the bag. But you, I get a lot of questions of people saying, oh, I don't want his friends around, but my friends are better. I don't like her friends and blah, blah, blah. You guys cannot try to have control over what the child is doing with, when they are with the other parent. I just did a video on YouTube about this. You cannot control what that child does every second. And you can't try to throw your title in as I'm the mom, I know better. Or, I'm the dad, I know better. I don't want this person around because this person's X, Y, Z, or blah, blah, blah. Or try to belittle the other person's friends or family and make it seem like your family is just top notch. That's not fair. You can't control everything. And a lot of the problem is control. A lot of parents want full control of everything their child does, no matter if the child is with them or not. Oh, I don't want their friends around. Oh, I don't want. And when I hear, especially mom say, well, I don't like this person he dating or I don't like this or I don't like, get full custody. And they always say the same thing. Well, then Q, it ain't that crucial. I'm just... If you feel uncomfortable or feel that the people that are around your kids will do your child harm, take full custody and make sure that whatever parent has visitation rights and it has to be a supervised visitation if you feel like that. And when I start telling people that, they be like, well, it ain't that crucial. I'm just saying I don't like his friends. No, it's not that you don't like his friends. You're upset because you don't have control over the situation anymore you can't control who mom or dad has around because you guys are not together anymore so you get upset and you lash out well i just don't like her why just because i don't i don't want my kids around why we have to understand you can't control grown folks mm -hmm. especially if you're not paying bills there if your name ain't on that lease or their mortgage and you're not paying bills in that household when that child is with the other parent it ain't nothing you can say stop trying to control everything because you mess up everything a lot of people have control issues and that's is that's really all it is they want to control every part of what their child is doing. Oh, well, if he going here, you know, I don't like your sister, your cousin, your mama, so and so, so and so, so I don't want my child around that person. But if the child is with me, you can't control who the child is around. Well, my child just won't go over there no more. Okay, take full custody and make it supervised visits. Or get out your feelings. Move on. It didn't work out and it's okay. That's really a lot of times parents be mad about. It don't be that somebody is around their child or they don't like their child. They're just mad that the relationship didn't work out. So now they want 